So I plasti dip the uh, windshield frame and the, the mirrors black. I did the clear coat. All right, so what I did is I clear coated this before, but it didn't look good. It's the, it didn't give it the right texture, the glossifier. So I just oversprayed it back with this because uh, this is a lot of a smoother finish. And if I put, uh, what I do is I put the, um, I put this on it when it fully cures. And I've been using this for a couple of years on my rims uh, that are plastic dipped. And um, it does really good. Uh, makes the surface look really nice and shiny, clean. And um, it doesn't remove the plastic dip. Unlike the other stuff to remove plastic dip uh this stuff this stuff does a pretty good job with removing plastic dip uh, but i think the best for removing plastic dip <coughs> is the paint thinner and um some will probably say oh it's a paint thinner it's gonna ruin your clear coat actually no this is a two-stage clear coat it's not gonna be uh, able to um eat away at your clear coat Maybe if you did it long enough, maybe if you like let it sit, but that's pretty safe. It's uh, it looks pretty good, I think. The problem with uh, doing this is you gotta watch out where the rubber meets. I ripped it here, and I resprayed it, so there's those those uh, there's some issues here that maybe I need to touch up. Uh, what I do is I rub it with paint thinner um, and get rid of the the joint the the the, the grooves because I had some other ones and actually it turned out really well. Paint thinner that paint thinner has like oil in it, so what you gotta do is it's not you can't spray onto it or it's gonna bubble up. You gotta clean it with alcohol after. Uh, this is still drying though. I think it's gonna. I think the texture is gonna get even uh, flatter. I'll, I'll check on it tomorrow. But it um, turns out turned out pretty well. And this is just water. Overall, I think it uh, gives it a nicer look, and it's a lot easier to do with vin than vinyl, like applying vinyl, and it's uh, and you can take it off if uh, if you don't like it. I did like six coats on the mirrors. I think I did like eight or ten coats on the the frame because I kept changing uh, my mind about what I'm going to do and I ended up not using the clarifier uh, well maybe I'll try the clarifier on the rims this is about two years old this paint uh, this plasti dip but it has a pretty fresh coat of the mother's black to back to black it looks really nice I haven't tried the clarifier on the rims but because I didn't like the texture, it gives it a more of an eggshell texture. I went back to just using the matte finish. And yeah, if you do this to your Miata, this is what, uh, what kind of result you'd expect. There's, um, there's obviously going to be, if you peel this rubber back, there's going to be red here. So I don't know, you'd have to probably remove this to do it a cleaner job here but it is what it is it came off in a few spots you can see here and there when i was peeling the tape so what i can do is get rid of these bumps with the with a clear with the uh, paint thinner and then i'd have to respray it in those spots uh, but the mirrors turned out really nice you know, but, uh, there's no issues with that i even sprayed it in between here in there, so I opened it, sprayed it in there, and then yeah, but if you're planning to do this, it's uh it's like 17, 18 bucks a can at Home Depot. Um it's cheaper than Canadian Tire. That's where I got it. Uh the clarifier is there too, but Again, I'm not going to use the clarifier, although the uh, clarifier does give it a little bit more protection, I found. When I was doing the paint thinner, it resisted better, more, but I probably don't really care for that anyways, because you're not going to be 
uh, putting toxic paint thinner on there all the time. It's just, uh, yeah, when you do use paint thinner on this, you make sure you don't use too much because it'll eat it fast. So if you want to fix spots like this, you got to get it, uh, you got to, it can't be super soaked. It's, it's just a very damp cloth, very little, and just rub it and you'll feel it get sticky. When it gets sticky, um, you could start getting in on, on those spots more. And make sure you apply it and not like here, there's a hole, right? I've, uh, before I even do any paint thinner to smoothen this out, I'm going to have to apply a lot more into this hole. So I'm just going to keep spraying into this hole. Once it's filled up, I'm going to sand it down. But it was uh, sanded here too. It was really bad. It looks a lot better now. And I think it's still drying, so... A lot of people were giving me bad advice with like Plasti Dip, I think, and saying that they would never use it. Um, I definitely would use it. It's a lot easier to work with than paint. You can always remove it easily and um, go back to whatever. Um, you can sand it lightly, like if you use 400 grit and water. I've done that before, but I, th I found that the paint thinner method is a lot better i haven't actually removed it with anywhere yet from anywhere yet so we'll find out i don't plan on removing it anytime soon but if i do remove it it'll probably be around this windshield because i didn't like the um i don't know how much how, how much i'm going to be able to fix these easily and um i don't know how how it's gonna look in the sun. Meanwhile, I think the mirrors are looking good. So that will stay there for a while. And um, here's another shot in the front. How that looks. This car has a ceramic coating on it, so idea is that I won't have to wax it this summer, but we'll see. I might even Plasti Dip these Momo uh, coarse logos around the rim. Just just this, this uh, lip. I'm going to see how that looks. And if I don't like it, then I'll remove it. I just don't like the writing on them. But I do like the, uh, the silver shine to it. So we'll see. Also, this card needs a... Bit of a drop, still contemplating coilovers or uh, lowering springs. Costs are similar, but uh, I've had good experience with lowering springs at uh, Ibox Springs and um, buying new struts. Um, I'm not gonna, I don't think I'm gonna be adjusting it, but I think uh, an inch, 